Biosphere 2 was built between 1987 and 1991, and the goal was to see if eight people could live inside a closed system where they would grow their own food, rebreathe the same air over and over again, and reuse and recycle the same water over and over again. And their hope was that everything they learned by doing this, this closed system experimentation, would allow us to someday live elsewhere in the solar system. I'm Linda Lay, and I was one of the original crew members in Biosphere 2. Biosphere 2 was designed to be completely separate, which means the atmosphere has to be sealed off from the outside atmosphere. Every little seam had to be tested to make sure it wasn't leaking. We grew almost all of our own food inside of the biosphere, and of course we had to cook. For our farm, we had plants and animals, lots of different kinds of plants. We started out with three different kinds of animals. Chickens, and we got eggs from the chickens. We had one egg a week per person. We had goats, so we got a little bit of goat milk from the goats and a little bit of goat meat. Biosphere 2 contains five unique biomes or plant communities, including the tropical rainforest, the savanna, tropical ocean, mangrove marsh, and the coastal fog desert. Well, all eight of us had our own job, and my job was to make sure that the rainforest, the savanna, and the desert were functioning. Um, what I mean, the plants were growing, the animals were happy, the temperatures were correct, to see if these were really good choices for a biosphere that someday might be off of the face of the planet. The eight people living inside faced many challenges. Among these were 14-hour workdays and producing barely enough farm crops to sustain themselves. They had very little food. The agriculture was also challenging because we weren't really growing quite enough food to give us all the calories we needed to do all the work we needed to do. And sometimes you could really feel that you were at the end of your calories. You couldn't work anymore because you'd used up all of the food that you were, you were eating. We built Biosphere 2 to be closed to the outside atmosphere for 100 years. So when we closed the door in 1991, we expected to have it closed and separate from the Earth's atmosphere for 100 years. The people would come out after two years, which we did, but we expected to have it closed, and that would be a very beautiful long-term experiment. In fact, it didn't go on that long. A lot of different difficulties um, cropped up, both inside the biosphere itself, but also with funding and with other things that happened on the outside. One of the main outcomes of the closed mission era of the early 1990s was that people found just how hard it is to replicate Earth under glass. All of the things we take for granted that the Earth does, clean air, clean water, plants that grow naturally, was vastly harder for people to design and achieve in a closed system. You can't really fail as long as you learn something from the experiment and as long as you learn something from the questions you have. If you just stop, maybe you could call that a failure because you didn't follow up on the system. But in Biosphere 2, we sure learned a lot. 